today we are talking about how to create joy in your life with watercolor doodles and of course this is for beginners so if you want to paint along with me here today just grab your supplies i have them listed in the description box below so if you've been following my channel then it's no surprise to you that i have been struggling and dealing with grief since April of this year and I've been having a very hard time putting words to my videos but I have been doing my watercolor doodle practice and this is the way that has been helping me move past that grief and get into a better space in my life. So today I'm going to be talking about joy and how to learn to let go. So whether you're letting go of grief, whether you're letting go of depression, or letting go of stress in your life, whatever you need to learn how to let go of, today will be a video that will help push you past those blocks that you have within your body. And bring you to a better space and help you learn to let go and trust. The medium of watercolors is one way I know that will definitely help teach you how to learn to let go. Now, as you saw in this video so far, when I place the water on the paper and drop the pigment in, it has a life of its own. It just flows wherever it wants to flow. And I have no control over it. The same way here, as I use the spray bottle on top of the pigment, it has a life of its own. And the pigment goes wherever it wants to. Now, some of you may think I just ruined the piece by putting the spray bottle to the paint and letting it flow. But really, this just adds more depth and character to your painting. This is where trust comes into play and you have to learn how to trust that the outcome will be beneficial to you. So with intuitive art, you know I say when you do not enter a painting with any rhyme or reason or any preconceived notions, messages will be waiting for you at the end of the painting or even along the journey as you are creating, you may see images and symbols. Now, if you want to take that into account and learn how to read those images and symbols and the messages that are waiting for you, that's great. I have other videos here talking about that on this channel. But if you just want to be happy and have a little joy in your life, gravitate towards those colors that bring that joy to you. Because how can you not look at a piece like this that is so happy and when you place the pen to it, bring it to life, let it have meaning to you, and just be mesmerized by how the watercolor doodles create, how, they, how the water uh, color paints just flow through and create something from nothing. After creating several of these watercolor doodles, you will find a little bit of peace within yourself you will also see messages that we talked about and you can either use those messages or just let them go. It's all up to you and how you want to perceive your painting. But as I look at this painting, I love the colors that are in here. I use them so I would be happy when I was creating and this piece makes me very happy and when I look at it I can't help but feel a little bit of joy into my life. Keep a portfolio of these paintings and know where you start and know where you end up and you're gonna see progress unfold before you. As I said I've been dealing with grieving since April of this year. Actually the past 12 years have been full of grief for me but this journey is something that we all have to deal with in our lives and instead of just throwing it under the carpet or trying to hide from it or escape 
with um, some destructive means in your life, this is one therapy that I can recommend that will enhance your abilities and it also will bring you so much joy when you can look where you started and look how you've progressed along the way. You may see dark images in your art when you begin. You may find messages that are not um, happy for you if you really want to look into them, but you will see them evolve. You will see them change. You will see them grow. You will see the light come into your work and you will be um, so much greater, so joyful and have so much gratitude for this therapy along your way. You can change things up as I'm doing here with the doodle process. You can look at this piece and really put a smile upon your face. I just want you to begin. I want you to try to splash paint on the paper. I really don't care if there's an image in there that you can recognize, but once you see it and once it dries, you can just put the pen to it and let it go. Just trust whatever comes out. If it's something a little bit dark for you, then let that happen because that's all a part of the healing process. If you are somebody that enjoys creating with watercolors like I do on this channel here and you love this doodling process and if you're somebody that's dealing with depression, stress, or grief, know that you are um, wholeheartedly welcomed into our free community over at elizabethsampson.com where we share our work and our pieces and we discuss this journey and this process along the way. You can find that link in the description box below. Sometimes it does help to share your work. If you feel that you're not ready to share your work, that's okay too because there are people that do share and with whoever shares their watercolor painting process and their journey, you will find healing within that and you also will find support um, with like-minded people along the journey. So I hope you take that into consideration and feel free to join the community um, where it's a safe space to share your work um, in this medium. If you are somebody that's dealing with grief as I am right now, just know that with every day, it gets a little bit better. Continue to do your healing work. Continue to watercolor paint with me. And if you like this video, you're going to like these other videos. And I will see you again next week.